morning. Today is one of those days where the mumban is just gonna have to rock out. I have a crazy day ahead of me, which makes me sad when I can see all those books just sitting there. <laughs> so tomorrow I am off on a year three camp to a place called the House of Happiness. It's near the beach, which is fun, but there's absolutely no room for reading when there are 40 kids running around and just tired parents snarling at each other, <laughs> basically. Oh, like, I'm going to take my books, of course, but I would like, I'm pretty sure that none of it's going to get read at all. I wanted to finish The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas yesterday, but I didn't. I'm only 60 pages in and I read most of that this morning before the kids are up. Um, the, on the back of this book, it gives nothing away. It doesn't tell you what's happening. I'm 60 pages in and I've just worked out that this book is about a boy whose father is a Nazi. And he's a very high up Nazi. They refer to the Fury coming for dinner. The Fury. And they've just moved to what seems to be a house for the leader of, the concentra of a concentration camp. It's freaking me out. I'm freaked out for this little boy. I, I want him to run away now. But he is completely unaware he doesn't understand that this is a concentration camp nobody's giving him any information he doesn't even know what his father's job is so we will see over the next 140 pages how that all develops but it's it's intriguing and when the penny drops you're like holy crap oh my god you know it's one of those really cool moments that i had so i'm in the mood to read now. I just got the kids off to school. I think I could reward myself with a little bit of reading. And then I really need to get some jobs done. I can't tell you what happens. But it's sad. <laughs> this is any books about Nazis and Jews, and oh, it's never going to end well. No oh, man. No oh, man. Um, it's great. Read it. Really read it. It's clever. It's told from this little boy's perspective. He's nine. Oh, I'm so sad. What did I say yesterday about how book, how, what good books are, you know, they're supposed to make you feel and bloody hell. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. So good news, I've done most of my mum's stuff for the day and the kids won't be home for another three hours because tennis is on. So my plan is to hang out and, and read basically. Um, this is still playing in my head. I was really emotional last time I spoke to you about this book. I've calmed down <laughs> since. Um, so what, 
I mean, any book about um, the Nazis and, and their treatment of the Jews is going to be sad. This one, I thought, because it was told from a little boy's perspective, it wouldn't be so sad, but I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Um, so it's, it's the story of Bruno, whose father is obviously running or switch, which becomes clear towards the end. I don't know if that's a spoiler. Not really. All these little pennies drop throughout the book, which is really cool. And you're like, oh, right, okay. I know where we are now. I know what's going on. This is not good. He's a lovely, adorable boy who speaks so properly and is so respectful, yet says what he needs to say. And he is completely oblivious to what's going on. He has no idea. He thinks that the people on the other side of the fence are having a great time and they're in this great village and everybody's, you know, playing together and he envies them because there's more of them and the kid, there's more kids over there and he doesn't have any kids to play with and he really doesn't know who they are. He has no concept of what the word Jew means. He doesn't understand that his people doesn't don't like the Jews and vice versa. And he has no real idea about what his father does and how horrible his father is. He thinks he's a very brave soldier. Totally wrong. Anyway. Um, it's written so innocently and... Um, I have such fond affection for Bruno, uh, the way that he um, works out all the little things and the way he conducts himself. I loved him. John Boyne, I mean, really, I've read two of his books and both I loved. Um, I don't know if he's got any more books. This is kind of a, I'm sure he would. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, six novels. Yeah, he's an Irish author. So he's got six novels for me to get through. I intend to read every single one. I've read two and they're five stars. Surely he can't disappoint me from here. It's a pretty good chance they're all going to be good. But anyway, I, I love this book. Loved it. And it was a nice, quick, easy read. Loved it. Loved it. So then, um, just throughout the day, so far I've just started picking up, um, reading a little bit. I think I'm on page 50, not very far in at all. I'm confused as hell. Um, I know from all of the reviews that I've seen on booktube, because so many people love this book, um, that it's, you know, alternate reality kind of situation um, with, with two little babies that are born. But right now we're jumping all over the place and whether I've been distracted by other things, I just haven't... Um, don't feel like I've quite got a grip on it yet. Hopefully that will come soon. Um, I love historical fiction, so the setting is perfect. Um, so I'm enjoying that. Um, I just hope Ursula's going to be okay. I, I'm freaked out from this, you see, because I'm worried about the little, the little kids. Because I don't like stories where little kids aren't okay. It unsettles me. It makes me sad. You saw firsthand. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to sink my teeth into this, I think, and do all of the little other little adult things that I need to do in between and have just a nice, calm afternoon before I leave for camp tomorrow. Okay. Talk soon. I just got exciting news because I stuck in a um, Steve Booktube video and he announced Sherlock Tober. What a cool idea! What a cool name! I'm I'm one of those people that have never read Sherlock Holmes, ever. How bizarre is that? So I'm totally getting involved in that. I'm a little worried about the pace that Steve's setting, but they're all short stories. I don't know how how many pages each of them are, but you know, if you're going to run in Steve's crew, you've got to commit. 
think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to um, hit up my secondhand bookstores and find that complete works of Sherlock Holmes and yeah, get ready to Sherlock Tover in a couple of weeks. It's super exciting. I'm really pumped about that. <laughs> anyway, I just. I just got a little buzz and I had to share it with booktube buddies because nobody else is here and even if they were here, they totally wouldn't care, let's face it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read this while I sit outside and um, try and get some sun. the fire station. What's what doing at the fire station? I want to be a fireman like you, Grandpa, says Spot. Well, first we'll put on our fireman's helmets, said Grandpa. Don't climb too high, Spot. Good night.